What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today, I'm just going to feed my zebra eel. There's a specific route that I go in in order to feed him properly. Um, I'm going to feed the two frozen mysis cubes first to feed all the other individual fish. Once they get fed, that scent's going to be out too while I'm doing that and the eel will come out. And then I will end up taking the shrimp feeding the eel individually. I, the last thing I want is a bunch of fish trying to eat the shrimp while the eel is trying to eat. His eyesight is very poor and kind of sucks at like capturing food in general. So I just want to just keep most of the little guys off of the eel. All right, let's get into it. All right, here's the frozen mysis. It's finally thawed out, ready to go in the tank. All right, bottoms up. I just pretty much just dump it in there, rinse it out. Just let the fish get to it. You'll see here shortly that you'll come out. Actually, he's coming out already, so I'll show you. So he's out and ready to eat, but I'll give him a second till uh, most of the other fish finish eating. Just to kind of fill their appetite so they're not bothering me while I am feeding the eel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, feed him a quarter of the shrimp that I cut up. So for the most part, I kind of just dangle it around, let him smell it, and he grabs it off the, the tweezers that I have that are metal. It's got a little bit of rust, but it works. Yeah. All right, uh, round number two. Maybe this time I can like get him to be stretched out so you can get a better view of him. All right, let's see if I can uh, bring him out a little further so you guys can get an idea of his length, color, body. Again, that poor eyesight. All right, let's let him have it. He's worked hard enough. Let's see if I can get the light in orange. And finally, the last step after they got the frozen mysa shrimp, he ate all of his shrimp. Let's put some seaweed in there so they can kind of graze for the most part at their own pace. So here's a seaweed clip. I usually just kind of just slap it on the wall more towards where I sit so I can see him eat. And this one right here, this one right here, it has the uh, magnetic base, so it's a little bit easier to work with. And right, now that you've seen the eel eat and the rest of the other fish, if you want to see how to prep the food, continue on with the video, and I'll go ahead and put that right up next. All right, uh, this is pretty much the prep work that's going to go into feeding my fish, zebra eel. Um, I do this about every three days, if not four days. Check it out, tongs, bowl, feeding clip, seaweed, marine algae, and some good old fashioned shrimp, never frozen, wild caught. That's gonna be some prep work right there. All right. As far as the shrimp goes to feed the zebra mori eel, I kinda like to peel the shell off. Cut it in half, put, put it into like some quarters. All right, so here's the shrimp. It's peeled completely, took the tail off, all the legs are gone. I don't need debris floating around in my tank causing some nitrate spikes. So from here, I just slice the shrimp in half like so. And cut it in half each piece. So that gives us four pieces. Feed them once, he'll eat it, and continue on to the fourth one. So that pretty much takes care of the zebra eel. Mega Marine Angel Food. It's got some mices, worms, some other ingredients. I'll drop like two cubes into the bowl. All right, next is some seaweed for the tang. Remember, this is the one that I don't care too much for, but I mean, it lasts a little while. Barely picks at it, but everyone else can get to it. We'll see how it works again. All right, just put a little piece in here like so. All right, just slide the seaweed in the bag, close it like so. Here's the clip, goes in like so. Cap it off, 
Get stuck. It's not going to go anywhere. Magnetize. The other side will be on the outside, outside of the tank and then just stick to it and put it wherever you want. Next, uh, I like to also put a little bit of seaweed on just a, you know, a cheap clip. Uh, it's a little bit easier for the tang and get to it, eat from it. I don't like pieces too big because it'll just rip a huge chunk off and it'll float off into the tank and just create waste. All right, one more time. Let's check it out. Let me get a little bit closer. On the right side, you got one large shrimp that's never been frozen, um, cut in half and then into quarters, so that's a total of four pieces. Two frozen cubes of mysis shrimp, clip with some seaweed that's just fully exposed, a magnetic clip of seaweed that's just uh, gonna last a little bit longer for a couple of days where they can nibble on. Um, they'll definitely be able to get to it once the water saturates it and it starts to fluff up and it be exposed through those little teeny tiny holes. And that is it. Tank's fed, eels fed, we can continue on and close this video up for the most part.